Okay. Hello! <laughs> Woo! Go Mobile community, how are you? Welcome to the Hangout! <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? So, Damien Zamora here, Go Mobile Solutions, and I'm really excited to do this Hangout with all of you today. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun, and as you can see already, very interactive, maybe a little entertaining, and uh, hopefully you learn a bunch of stuff today, too, that you can take out and take action with immediately in your business. So let me introduce our, our co-stars here. We've got all the way to the right. Anyway, Jerry Foster, uh, community favorite, longtime friend of mine, and a uh, guy that I go back with many, many years. We're talking well over 15 years, and we've uh, been doing a lot of things together. He's uh, Most of you know him. He's, he's involved in the back-end training he, uh, for the Go Mobile community, and uh, he's really been very inspirational to all of this community, and you're going to learn some really good stuff from Jerry today. Jerry, how you doing, bud? I'm doing fantastic. I'm really excited to be here, Damien. What a what a cool thing these Google Hangouts are, and uh, I just feel like we're kind of cutting edge here tonight. Yeah, it is cutting edge. I mean, it, it makes me have to shave and actually uh, put some presentable clothes on. It's a little different than a typical <laughs> webinar, but we're excited to do it. We've well, got I'm a couple sure. other guests with us. Uh, Jeff Hop, how you doing, Jeff, from Boulder, Colorado? I'm doing great, Damien. Thanks for shaving for us. <laughs> you got it. And we've got Dennis, buddy. How are you, Dennis? Nice to I'm, see you here. I'm doing great. Glad you're to be in Texas, here. right? Yes, I am. Excellent. Excellent. So you're going to get to hear Dennis's story tonight, Jeff's story. They're both, hopefully you'll be inspired after you hear their stories and what they've been able to accomplish. And they told me they've got some secrets for you. They've got some things that they've been working on that they've been doing in their business that they're going to share with you today. So make sure to clear out the distractions so you can learn from your peers, guys just like you, that are doing it. Guys that are out there doing it, making it happen right now. So welcome to the local mobile domination Google Hangout, everyone. Let's rock and roll. So Jerry, how, how should we start this rodeo? What do you want to do? Well, you know, first of all, I mean, let's acknowledge who we have here. Um, on the Google Hangout, and uh, and I just want to say my welcome as well, and and uh, my um, you know my uh, congratulations for being here. There are a lot of demands on our time, and a lot of demands on your focus, and you're here for a reason. So, um, do we have a chat panel, Damien? I'm trying to locate where we can see uh, uh, comments and chat and whatnot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to open up another window, and I'll have chat a pretty big screen here, so I have chats going on the side. Because As you can tell, um, this is live and direct, everyone. Yeah, 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 live from all of our houses and offices. It's um, Thursday night, but um, so the reason I, I was I was saying that is because I really um, I really want to acknowledge the people that we have here. We have a few different groups here, and then also, why are you here? You know, what are you hoping to get out of this? Um, Google Hangout session here, where you have the opportunity to uh, to learn from the CEO and co-founder of the company, from myself, from two of our star resellers. You know, we want to really provide content that is uh, that is advantageous to you. So I'm really curious. First of all, why you're here? I'm going to assume it's not because there's nothing good on TV and uh, your team has the off night. Okay. Uh, you're here, I believe, because you, you want something better for yourself and your family. You want to create yeah. some income. And if you've paid attention to any of our webinars on local mobile domination, you're maybe most excited, excited about the fact that this product, this program, can create an income stream for you. Not just a one-time hit, but an actual income stream. So we want to talk about that, talk about how that's working, and talk about how that can benefit you. So, okay, so let's look at, Damien, who we have here on the, uh, on the Hangout with us. We have, of course, we have uh, a con big congratulations that goes out to our brand new uh, local mobile domination resellers who just got signed up uh, today, yesterday, or the day before. They're just brand new. You know, the uh, shrink wrap, as you like to call it, is just barely off the virtual box. And they're Absolutely. just, you know, they're this here, week. you know, maybe one of the reasons they're, yeah, they're, they just got started this week, possibly literally today. And they're literally here because they're like, okay, so what do I do first? What's the first one, two, three things that I need to do? So you definitely want to take care of them. And then the second group that we have is the group um, that have been with us for longer than a day or a week, right? And that could have been a couple of weeks or literally our first local mobile domination resellers got started with this um, almost four months ago. Right? 
coming up on four months. And so they've been at it for a while. So we mid December. So yeah. Mid December. Yeah, or or for first of December, like the fifth, the fourth, fifth, sixth of December. So they've been at it for a few months. And we're going to have all different levels of activity. They're going to have those people that are like, yeah, I was so excited. But then the holidays hit. And, you know, then I, I just lost my focus. So I'm here so that I can get reengaged and really take this local mobile domination serious. And Jeff, what did yeah. you do? And Dennis, what did you do? And Damien, what should I do? You know, that sort of thing, right? All right. So then, then we have people that um, – then the next category of people I'm going to – Actually, Dennis, Dennis comes from that second group. Exactly. Exactly. That, that's part of Dennis's story that he'll be telling here on the Hangout. So I'd say the next group of people that we have here are Go Mobile Solutions resellers. Uh, you've been uh, working with are us. Are the toasters. Yeah, there you go. Are the toasters. The next group of people are the ones that should be toasting at this moment. <laughs> it's <laughs> beer toasters. 30. Is it beer 30? I don't have beer, but I've got Tell your uh, wife or your husband or someone to go ahead and get you a frosty beverage so you can hang out. This is a hangout. It's it's not a seminar. There you go. That's, that's right. So, so it's kind of like a little, a little social activity, right? That's right. So, so that group that we're talking about here is their Go Mobile Solutions resellers. They've been focused on mobile apps, and we have everybody from the superstars that have dozens of apps in the in the app stores to those that have maybe one or two to those maybe who are still working to get their first one in there. But they've been right. primarily focused on apps. They haven't. Maybe they haven't even heard about local mobile domination. If they heard about it, they're like, well, I got my hands full with the apps now or whatever. So they're not even started in local mobile domination, okay? Uh, did I leave anybody out? I guess the last category would be um, subscribers of ours who haven't gotten started with any of our programs yet. And, uh, and they're really here to see if maybe, uh, maybe this is the one to help them get up and, and get started and get going. I think, I think I've covered basically uh, everybody that's here. Right, you have, and and then let's let's and you, this is part of one of the groups that you talked about. But there's folks that have been with us for now close to two years, starting with the Go Mobile opportunity and selling mobile apps. And one of the things that uh, that like this is this is Jeff's story, not his story, but the folks that have been around with us for a long time that found local mobile domination in December, where we just blew out this white paper and we shared all these new stats that we. That, that we, we got out in the media and, and we just did, showed everybody what we had been working on for several months, uh, several months back at the home office in Newport Beach working on go local mobile domination, which was our baby that was born in December and it was wild success. And because we had such an overwhelming response from resellers that had tried it um, and had been making money with it and had been getting more clients as a result of, of all the new education, all the new training, all the new tools, you know, leveraging the, the new technologies, which you're going to hear all about, you know, it's, it's, they're making it happen. They're making it happen. And now this is the first time we get to hang out with folks that are in the chat room that have been successful. And of course, two that are live. And then Jerry and I who were part of the training. So really tonight is about getting the information that you need. If you're in one of the groups that are currently using the local mobile domination, you need to take some action on what you learned today. And for those of you that did not take advantage of it when it was open, because it's been closed for almost four months, tonight's the opportunity for you to take advantage of that. For those of you that were with us for the last couple of days as we reopened this with our webinar, um, and you're still kind of checking it out, the window is closing. We're, uh, we're going to be closing this again here in the next couple of days. So today it's about taking advantage of the stuff that you learn, and if you like what you see, taking action. So set the stage a little bit there, Jerry. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I think that's very well said. So, so fantastic. So let's, uh, let's take uh, the opportunity to go through and um, age before beauty, Jeff, let's, uh, let's go through here and, and meet our special guests and a uh, couple of our, uh, of our MVPs. And, uh, you know, both of you guys, first of all, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule, Dennis and Jeff, you've got, uh, you've, you've got busy schedules, you've got business that you're running families and a lot of other demands on your time so it really is a testament to you that you're on here to uh, help uh, guide and inspire you're not being compensated for being here in any way you're just doing it out of the goodness of your heart to be able to uh, to help your fellow go mobile resellers um, repeat some of your success and that's a that's a big part of of uh, it's been a big part of my life I know it's been a big part of Damien's life is looking for opportunities to give back and help other people so uh, I want to thank you both for being here 
uh, big time. And uh, Dennis, so first of all, I really, I really love your story. So yeah, um, absolutely, thank and, you guys. And, and I can tell your story, but I want you to tell it. You're here, and 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 the subtle nuances of of your story that I don't even know yet. But um, you know, just to kick it off, you uh, you told me that you uh, retired in September and found Go Mobile right about that same time, right? That is correct. Well, tell us a little bit about how you found us, and you know what you did, how you got started, and. Uh, you know, and then you found local mobile domination, and just kind of go through and, and give us a little bit of a feel for your story and and how it's worked for you, and a couple of your strategies, and we'll uh, we'll kind of take it from there. Okay, uh, I was uh, I was about to retire, and uh, I was actually uh, dabbling with the internet, and I came across uh, mobile as being the hottest uh, thing to do. I came across one of the webinars of Damien's, and that was. Uh, um, I guess in September in that time, and I uh, bought into it. It looked uh, I saw the demo and saw the webinar, and it made a lot of sense. Um, so I I bought into the program, and uh, I I really loved it. Uh, what I was doing with it uh, since that time, I've got um, I think I've got six seven uh, apps on the uh, on Google and uh, iTunes, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, I've got uh, several more I'm working on right now, but uh, they opened up uh, mobile domination, and I said, "Wow, that's really great because this way I can actually open the door uh, a, like a lower entry, which would be the the mobile websites." You mean a lower and, price point, so you yeah, can go like into a, a customer, offer them well, a lower can, price point. It's set a point where I could even uh, give them away if I wanted. But the, the, the idea, and then coupled with that, they had another part of the program was being able to do subcontracting, be able to do uh, SEOs, and LBLOs, and, and that was very attractive because if I have a, a client, then I have another product I can sell to them. And so, but uh, my uh, idea uh, with a website was to try to break in uh, as quickly as I could and try to do some sort of mass marketing because uh, once I get them as a client, then I can go in and, and show them other uh, products. Because uh, all the just about everybody needs uh, more help, and uh, so uh, I came across uh, an idea to to actually uh, create a, an email where I would take uh, um, a picture of their website as, as it would look like on a mobile phone. I was able to grab that graphic, that graphic. And put that in an email uh, and show, and then in some of them I was doing a uh, one-page mock-up to show the difference, so that uh, they would see before and after. Uh, I d decided to target uh, dentists, so I went out for uh, sent out ten, and uh, four came back right away. I was able to convert those and. Uh, the other one I ended up doing an app. Another one uh, ended up in LBLO. And uh, then I got another reference out of that, so I ended up with five out of the dentist. And, uh, wow, so and that was uh, another one. You added another one since I heard last. Yeah, it was originally <laughs> four. So now, now, now five. Yeah. And again, this, this is key here. Five out of how many? Uh, there was uh, uh, ten. Five out of ten. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's a fifty percent success rate. That is just. Fantastic. Well, and, and and let me make sure, Dennis, that everybody can appreciate exactly what you said when you said that you basically took a picture of what their website looks like on a mobile device, which we already know that 90 plus percent of the businesses out there, they're not ready for the mobile device and it looks like crap. And you basically sent them an email with the picture that showed them, look, this is what you look like now on a mobile device. And then, right, didn't you also show them what they could look like and do, do a little mock-up with the, with That's the website correct. builder? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, after the 10, I uh, decided I would target some more. I sent another 10, and uh, I modified a little bit because uh, I was trying to come up with a generic way so I didn't have to build a mock-up for every one of them. Uh, that turned out quite well, except that uh, with the dentist, most of it ended up with corporate. So right now, the other 10, uh, I have uh, five or six that are – Looking at it, but it's still hung up in corporate, and I didn't want to mess with that. But you learn from that. But look at that, though. You know, you yeah. learn from that experience of what types of, uh, of 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 prospects to target and which ones to really just not waste waste your time with. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. you're going to make sure it's not a corporation. And the the next thing that I, what I'm doing right now is again I, I want to try something generic. So what I I've come up with is a, a video. It's a one minute video, and it shows uh, uh, three cross sections of uh, apps: one for automotive, one for medical, and uh, self-employed. And it's about 30 seconds of these. Uh, it's uh, very interactive. And uh, so I send this out to them. Uh, uh, show the show their uh, their mobile app as it uh, uh, the website as it looks like, and tell them to take a look at this one minute video. And I send uh, tried that one. I've sent out. Uh, I had ten, but some have bounced back. But I've got eight. Uh, I was going to follow up today, but I got hung up at the chamber, so I was able to call one. And it looks like out of that one, which is kind of amazing, uh, I've got uh, one callback or uh, nice. meeting for next week. That's but again, right. uh, this is too, and it's not a good cross section yet. But the, uh, the what this does for me you know, by creating a generic uh, email, all I have to do is grab what it looked like and then have show them the video. So I can create a new any uh, email in about a minute. And uh, it's generic, so it doesn't matter what it is. It's automotive, medical, or whatever. So that was trying to uh, avoid having to create uh, a mock-up for everyone. So, and that's, and I think that's going to work out quite well. Okay. Excellent. That's a great approach. That's a great approach. So, uh, and then you mentioned today you had a busy, hectic day. You are uh, spending time with the with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm I'm dying for you to tell. <laughs> the, the story about the Chamber of Commerce because that is just such a huge big win and uh, and and you're in a you're in a pretty you know pretty big area you're in Round Rock right which is just yeah. north of Austin and uh, beautiful hill country there in fact I wish I was in Austin today <laughs> got the big uh, South by Southwest festival going on which is yeah. amazing and a lot of fun but uh, so talk about your uh, your great news. And tell us a little bit about how that how that evolved and how that came about and led to the great news that you just received. Well, I was trying to work with uh, the Brown Rock Chamber, and I was trying to uh, uh, talk to them about different programs. And uh, they said the only way you can do that is you've got to be a member. And I said, okay, well, why don't we do this? If uh, I met, create a mobile app and uh, website, uh, will you uh, trade that for your membership? And they said, well. We can't quite do that, but if you would pay 150 for the basic, we will upgrade you to a classic, which is a thousand dollars, which means I can do pretty much anything. And uh, so uh, that was about uh, two weeks ago. I met with him uh, the late last week and uh, showed them the mobile app and the website, and it just blew them away. And they said, "Okay, we're going to raise you up your classic, even though you haven't delivered the app yet." And I said, okay, That's we need time. to get we need to get together. And they and uh, they said, well, you know, we're, we don't know where to put you. We don't have a category. And I said, well, how about mobile apps, okay. mobile websites? And they said, okay. So they created a <laughs> a category for yeah, that's, mobile nice. apps. That's, that's really important. That's really important. Now, yeah. now, let me push your pause button there for a second. So the key thing here that we're now, thanks to being able to lead with mobile, first we know we're cutting edge. And it's really hard to believe here, even a few years into this, we're still cutting edge in most every market. Very few businesses have, obviously, either the apps or the mobile websites. So we're cutting edge. But you go to organizations like this, like the Chamber of Commerce, right. like the BNI, uh, um, you know, networking groups. They all have local marketing and SEO uh, people. And, and you, can't, you, you can't get in. They, they've already That's locked true. that up or or you've got to have a junior status there or whatever. But with mobile, you're marquee. And the thing is, is all of their members need it. None of them have it. And because you have the ability to lead with mobile, yep. you'll be able to pick up the local right. marketing and the mm -hmm. SEO stuff, but you led with the mobile. It's the mobile that kicks down the door. Yeah, it, and uh, the the chamber is about a thousand members, and that'll open the door. There's other five chambers in that area, including Austin, which is about three thousand. But uh, I would, the reason I was at a meeting today, and there's about forty, uh, excuse me, about forty fifty folks, and the president of the chamber 
looked at me and said, oh, by the way, we got a great announcement. Uh, Dennis Metter is going to be creating our mobile apps and websites for us. So uh, he announced that to the entire group. And that's fantastic. Which was awesome. So. Well, that's great. And see, the beautiful thing about that is you, you now have a stamp of approval. Yes. You know, that's a big time stamp of approval that you are, you're endorsed. You're officially endorsed. Oh, yeah. By the group. And uh, oh. do, you, do you have any idea how many members do they have in, 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 your, in that one chamber of commerce? There's about, about a thousand. It's very active, too. Now, and again, this is the Round Rock Chamber of Commerce. This isn't right. Greater Austin. Right. So you can drive, what is it, a half an hour south of you, 20 minutes south of you, to the state capitol, and mm -hmm. I would assume be able to repeat the same success all over again. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> Good that's, man. Yeah. yeah. Good so man. After, that, after that meeting, I had five people uh, came up and gave me their business card and said, hey, uh, give me a call. I want to talk about mobile apps or websites. So that was uh, that was great. I wasn't expecting that. That's fantastic. Well, that that's that's great. Any any questions you can think to to ask of Dennis Damien, um, just regarding his approach and his prospecting and uh, just anything that he's doing there that you think could benefit the group. Yes, definitely. You you hit on a key point, Dennis, and that was that now with the mobile websites, you have something that, you know, first of all, everybody needs. Most of them haven't yet. And your prices are so low that you sell them very inexpensively to lure them in as a client. And in some cases, even give it away. And, you know, that's one of the things that I really, you know, I really like to, to stress in the training. Deploying these mobile sites on our platform is negligible. I mean, it's really nothing, you know. It... You, you can use it as bait. It's the perfect bait. So tell me, you know, how has that helped? You know, because you started as with gold selling apps for probably a thousand or more. You can share what the price point was and what reactions you were getting from the prospects. And then what happened once you started, you know, using a product that you could price inexpensively or? Well, uh, my apps, uh, I, I tell them it'll be anywhere from fifteen to two thousand, depending on, on what I'm going to and uh, what I'm going to do for them. Uh, right. On the mobile websites, uh, I went, uh, your webinar, you said you can even give it away, and I thought, well, I might do that, but then there's no value. So uh, I came up with a uh, benchmark price where it would be 350 for one page and $50, $50 for each page after that. And then, uh, and then uh, the email that I sent out uh, this week, I actually did a special price if they uh, come on board within uh, 30 days, and uh, I give them special uh, price of 100. And, uh, no, I'm sorry, one 195. And um, uh, we'll see how that works. Again, I didn't want to give it away because there's actually value in it, and uh, even to do a, a website, it's gonna, yeah. it, it's, it takes an hour. You probably landed your five clients, a couple of them. Yeah, what I was saying was you make a good point that you didn't want to just give it away um, because, you know, you were dealing with dentists and one or two of those dentists, if you were giving it away, may not have paid attention. So you're right. You know, you don't want to strip it of the value um, if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Well, that's yeah, fantastic. I'm trying to get this thing on Facebook. That's fantastic, Dennis. That's, that's just a great it's job. And, my uh, internet. What's that, Damien? <laughs> I couldn't hear you, Damien. Say that again. Okay, I thought Damien was trying to say something. No, so, my my oh. my computer's acting up. The internet's acting up. So it's here. Oh, your internet's cutting in and out. Is that what you said? Okay. All right. Okay. So, Mark, this is just for you. I uh, hope you like the lighting a little bit better. Didn't realize yep. how badly everybody wanted to see my bright and shining face. Yeah, so you guys keep going, and I'm going to shut down some windows. Okay, so here we go. So let's let's uh, take it right over to our buddy out there in Colorado, Jeff Hop. And uh, Jeff, you've become really one of the uh, one of the superstars in our local mobile domination. And uh, 
and everyone has heard a little bit about your story if they've been on their webinars. But I'd love for you to to really um, you know talk about a little bit of your history with Go Mobile. I know you've been with us for a while, and um, you were one of the people that we wanted to give a shot at uh, you know working through some of the new go uh, the new local mobile domination uh, program before we even opened it up to the rest of the group. So. Just talk a little bit about your history, Jeff, and uh, and how it's worked out for you, and and what you found. Yep, absolutely, and and thanks for having me on. I'm I'm really excited to be here because I know this can help a lot of people. Um, so I joined Go Mobile Solutions March of last year. Um, I was already you know really focused on on trying to figure out how to make mobile work. I knew it was the future, and I, I just needed to figure it out. And I I remember 15 minutes into the webinar, texting one of my friends saying, "I'm going to buy this." I don't know how much it is yet, but I'm going to buy this. And, um, I had a fair amount of success with the apps. Um, I used some of the similar strategies, offering some reduced prices and, and definitely getting a lot of referrals from my warm network. Um, so it helped me get some apps on the board and establish some credibility with some of, the next, uh, some of my next prospects. Uh, but what I started finding when I was meeting with them is that a lot of them were in need of new customers and they were asking how does this get me new business how does this get me new business and certainly a mobile app can help get some new business by engaging the current customer base and getting them to share things on Facebook and using viral marketing but it's best as a, a customer retention tool um, and so I, I had to take a step back and, and reanalyze things a little bit and figure out you know, how do I focus on helping these people get new business and how do I help them with the basics um, I would meet with you know some local dentists and realize that their website was terrible so they didn't necessarily they weren't they weren't ready um, to go on to the advanced strategies because they simply weren't doing the fundamentals correct uh, right. so at that time I started looking at um, Google places or Google plus local because this is right around the time when some of the major changes were happening and, and just figuring out how to do it on my own doing a lot of the work myself and trying to figure out you know how to build the websites for them and manage some outsourcers and when Damien approached me with local mobile domination it was really just at the perfect time I had already and what did I do did I did I get up behind you and sneak up and go boo what do you mean approach <laughs> you with local mobile domination <laughs> <laughs> when Damien told me about it it, it, it couldn't have been better timing um, because I, I had just had a meeting where I, I needed to be able to offer more services and you know, having these tools and resources and knowing that I could offer people absolutely anything changed my meetings with prospects immediately. Um, you know, previously, I was a little hesitant to offer some of the services, but being able to offer SEO and local business listing optimization, building websites and even pay-per-click management, social media management, custom social media pages, all of those things where I have a reliable, dependable source to get them and I don't have to manage a bunch of outsourcers or try and do it all myself, uh, just increase my confidence. The other thing that made a huge difference is some of the other tools that are available, That's analysis amazing. tools and reporting tools. Right, now I want you to speak about that because you know, uh, I think a lot of people that see local mobile domination at first blush, they think, oh, okay, well, you know, a mobile website, that's nothing new. I've seen, I've seen, you know, webinars for, for, for mobile websites, big deal. But it's so much more than just the mobile website. You talk about the reports, the services. So elaborate a little bit on that, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. It, and, you know, the mobile websites are fantastic, but another element is that there's mobile SEO, and that's something that you can't find in very many places at all. Um, but the... Except for mobile. <laughs> the, the tools that, that come with local mobile domination <laughs> allow you to look at somebody's um, online presence and give them a score. So it's a very tangible way for them to see how poorly they're doing. Because Okay, now time out. That's error. the key. Because I'll get a lot of questions from people that are looking at this, and we bring that concept to them. They're like, okay, well, what about their their web masters and their web developers? And they're not they're gonna be territorial. And the key, what you just said there, Jeff, is these people are failing. They suck. <laughs> and, 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 you know, God bless them, whatever the reason for it is, they're trying to do it themselves. They're, they're trying to be the expert. Um, technology has passed them by. I don't know. But what you just said right there was so key, Jeff, and that is you're showing them that they're failing. Now, there are businesses in the marketplace that are not failing. Uh, with their online presence. Now, most of them, most of them are failing 
with mobile, but some are not with their online presence. They've got a great site and it is properly indexed and it is ranking and the SEO is, is right there and their, and their keyword rankings are there. Are those the businesses that you're going to, Jeff? Um, no, not necessarily. Exactly. I'm looking for, for people just below them. Right, so keep going. So I had, to, I had to twist that knife a little bit there. That was what Damien had out. If you didn't realize that letter opener, we were twisting the knife a little bit. Because we're going to these businesses, and Jeff just, just explained it to you, showing them that they're failing. And they're, it's, this is a competitive marketplace that we're in right now. Those businesses can't afford to be failing like that. And, and, and Jeff is, is showing them right there in, in plain, simple, easy-to-read reporting that they suck. And, and a lot of times it's their SEO or their webmaster who sucks. And so I can walk in exactly. with a report that shows them that they have a, an F or a D score, and they say, well, we've got somebody working on it. Great. Well, I'll here's, check the other part. here's the other really effective part to that strategy is when you pull the report for their direct competition in their area and you show a better score, B, A, you know, they're doing some of the things. I mean, that's just got to hurt. And, you know, look, we're not trying to go out there and piss a bunch of business owners off. We're really trying to help them out. We're trying to help them. Yeah, we're, we're trying to help them. Business. And sometimes it's as simple as showing them what their site looks like on a mobile device versus what a mobile site would look like. Fine, we've taken care of one problem. Now we look at a report, and people that are searching for pizza in your area aren't finding you. They're finding these guys. And it's because you have an F. And the report says so. And you know what? Your competition has an A. And I have the solution to helping you get from F to A. And to me, these tools that we have, and I'm glad that you got in real fast. You started with those tools, and it really changed everything for you. Because that's what we try to make sure that we get across to everyone. The tools that you use make this easy. It makes it clear as day that these people need to do something. And as long as you've got the proof, which you have with us, you have plenty of demos and plenty of things that you can show them, you know, they really are, are making a bad decision with the proof that you're putting out in front of them not to move forward with you. And then you go into your strategies on how you work your deals. I mean, that's the other thing I want you to spend some time on today with our listeners because there's people out there right now doing what you're doing every single day. And what they want to know is how you price your deals, how you, um, you know, for, for the different services, what services are you offering to them, and your reoccurring monthly payments that you're getting. So share, share some of that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one of my favorite reporting tools is, is, is called a local online presence report. And it's going to analyze how people are doing in their local directories. Um, and I've found that some businesses see how poorly they're doing and they say, we need to fix it right away. How much? Some yes. businesses say, I've got somebody working on that. And I say, well, okay, they're probably not doing a very good job. Do you mind if I check back with you down the road? And, and it's been long enough now that I'm following up with some of those people and they say, I'm ready to fire that guy. When can we meet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I also like it because offering the local business listing optimization gives me a, a lower price point, a great way to get them used to writing me checks and a reason to see me every month so that we can talk about some of the more advanced strategies. Now, let me, uh, let me explain what that is real quick yeah, for that's everybody. That's very key. Elaborate on that. I want to elaborate on that. So, so basically, like if I'm looking, I'm going to use pizza because this is a really easy um, example, right? If I'm looking for pizza tonight and what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm visiting a friend and they're not here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to search on my phone and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to search for pizza. And what's going to happen is the folks that have done the stuff that they're supposed to do, the magic on the back end so that they come up when people are searching on the devices, they're going to come up number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number seven, right? There's one through seven. And these people come up on the map as the pizza places based on the keyword pizza or whatever the keyword that you're putting them in there. And, and here's what's happening. That's Google. There's also directories. There's Bing. There's Yahoo. And there's 400 plus others. And when your local presence, meaning your physical address, your phone number, you know, a little like, for instance, your Google plus local page, if you've seen that. They're free little pages that every business gets. All they have to do is verify the page, and it's their local presence tied to that address, and that is from Google. If they take that information and submit it to these directories that Jeff is talking about, it really boosts up their local presence. So if you're in 100 directories, you're going to get less boost than if you're in 400 directories. And to get into 400 directories, you got these guys in the Philippines just going like this and doing all this stuff that they need to do, all done for you. And that's the services that Jeff is providing. So he goes and shows them that the way to go from an A to an F is you got to start with some of this basic stuff first. So that when somebody says, I want to find pizza here in Newport Beach, 
you're one of the seven that come up locally. And the only way to do that is by doing listing list. Sorry, business listing optimization, which is what Jeff was talking about. Explain yeah, a little more about that. It's service. oftentimes abbreviated. Give me the abbreviation because they'll see that in the marketplace. Yeah, yeah. LBLO. Uh, but, but it starts with optimizing Google Places and then Yahoo Local and then Bing and then you know the dozens of other directories that are out there like Manta and Yelp and Foursquare and you know things that everybody's heard of. The beauty of the report, though, is I can walk in and show somebody that they've got an F and, and twist the knife a little bit and then leave them with the report and say, Here's everything you need to fix. Go ahead and do it yourself if you want to. But if you want pro professional results, you should probably hire a professional. Now, give us an idea, Jeff. So when you go in with that approach, and obviously it's working for you, and it's a way for you to ease your way in the door and then grow the business over time because you're showing them the success. So you give them a little taste. Maybe give them you're giving them the appetizer, right. and then and then and then you're giving them you know a nice salad, and then you're giving them the entree, and then don't forget the dessert, and then maybe drinks after. So as you're easing into that, help us. Um, and I know it's different based upon. Um, the different niche industries and the different prospects, but give us a feel for your pricing strategies and how that's working. Yeah, typically the the setup I charge six fifty, and then the ongoing recurring is four ninety five a month. Okay, so that's how much are you making profit on the upfront and the monthly on that one client? Um, it, it's at least a hundred percent markup, depending on on what I'm doing. So, so just so understand, so what Jeff said is he's charging six fifty, roughly six fifty for the average deal on the upfront, just for the LBLO, right? Right. So that's about four hundred profit. Right, and, and then so four hundred profit. Monthly is another so when he says hundred percent, just so everybody is with you, when he says hundred percent profit, he's doubling his cost. So we're teaching you to double to triple it, and that's he's right in that range. And then the monthly you said four ninety five, right? And and that's costing about two to two fifty, two forty, yeah, two fifty, two forty. Fantastic. And it's all done for him. That's the thing. All the work is done. They even do the proposals for you, right, Jeff? Or do you are you using them for that? Yeah, they, they do some proposals. I do a little bit of customization on my own after that, but they, they do the bulk of the heavy lifting. Um, and what I was striving, what I struggled with with the mobile apps is you know creating that recurring income stream. And this has allowed me to give them a perfect reason for me to come back every month and set the stage for next month we're going to talk about this. And if we're ready, we'll talk about some of these more advanced strategies and, and maybe work on your social media. Because everybody's asking about Facebook. Well, what should I do with Facebook? Well, maybe not yet. Let's start with... Um, what you you know the fundamentals here, and we'll build towards it. Um, and I, I start laying the the groundwork from day one that these are the things that you're going to need over the next uh, you know three months to six months. And at some point, you're coming in with your mobile app upgrade, right? Yes, uh, um, absolutely. The the mobile website and the mobile app. I start planting the seeds for that right away, and talking about customer retention strategies and how you know everything's going mobile, and you've got to have your mobile site. Um, so some people jump on board with that right away, uh, but most of the time, when you know when they um, the the lower price point, I, I use it almost as a a, a drop close. Sometimes uh, I'll present them with a bigger package, but if they balk at the price and get sticker shock, I'll say, well, this is a no brainer. This is what you absolutely must do. You got to make sure that you're going to show up in Google because everybody's searching in Google. Yeah, and you know, one of the things I want to make sure that for everybody's benefit, it, we you know, you may not have caught this in the webinar, or you may not have showed up to the webinar, and we use mobile websites to attract new customers to be the the site that comes up when people search mobily mobile websites are what are going to come up and that's what we're getting ranked out there on Google and, and um, online so the mobile apps are for the loyal customers and the loyal the, the apps have all these features that you know are engaging like push notifications to get people coming into the store to buy more often you know a lot of other native functionality that are happening with the apps great upgrade but what they need first and this is I'll say it right now what they need first if they don't have a mobile website if their website is not optimized mobile that's what they need first and then the app comes second and the app comes with a higher price right Jeff what are you charging for your apps when you sell the mobile app 1500 to 2500 depending on the industry and how much work is going to go into it excellent and then I charge a hundred dollars a month for it are you charging for the mobile sites? Just in contrast, what are you charging for the mobile sites when you do? Uh, Two hundred or one ninety-seven. 
you know, and, and here's the deal. The, 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 pr the margins are definitely a lot lower on the mobile sites. You know, it's a lot easier to get mobile sites out there, even though people aren't doing it just yet until you get there. But the reality is your costs. What are your costs for each mobile app? What do you pay me per, I'm sorry, not app. What do you pay me per mobile website that you give to a dentist or anybody else out there? How much do you pay per mobile website? Uh, it depends on who's going to build them, and you know if I'm building them myself. No, no, no. Yeah, let let let's let's say you're building them yourself. I mean, obviously that was a that's true. That was a tricky question because I do charge for people that want to build. If you just wanted to build the site like Dennis had for the dentists and provide it, what are you paying for that? Zero, right? Right. You pay nothing down per website, and you pay a monthly fee of five bucks per month to host that site for that client. Of course, you're going to charge that client 10, 20 or whatever you're going to charge them or just pass it your cost. But at the price of zero, you know, you have a lot of flexibility. You can sell a mobile site for $200 and you make $200 profit. You can sell it for $100 or $500 and you're making 100% profit. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that, you know, that's why you're able to do it competitively, even in some cases like Dennis mentioned free. Yeah, absolutely. Um, having those lower price points, it's it's just kind of a no-brainer for a lot of the clients, and um, getting them on board is the key. Getting them used to writing me checks. Um, one of the the big turning points for me is that I, I I started approaching people who were just doing absolutely terrible, who maybe hadn't claimed their Google page or who had the worst websites, and I found that they weren't really the best prospects. Uh, what has really worked is finding people who are already advertising or people who are already really focused on growing their business. So the Yellow Pages has been a fantastic source of leads. People that mail me postcards are already spending a lot of money on advertising. Some of my clients have decided to stop using the Yellow Pages because they're not getting results from that and they're getting better results um, from their online searches. So By the, way, the Yellow you Pages is a used... great prospect list. Yeah, I was going to say, had you ever used the Yellow Pages to uh, prospect and <laughs> Absolutely. They've done a great job. Of, well, because they've already done a great job of collecting a list of people that are paying for marketing, and now they're paying for marketing that's working less and less every day. Guys, here's what he just said, and write it down. Okay, He just said, if you want a lead list, go grab that thing that you always throw away the minute it hits your doorstep, and look for all the people that are wasting all their money for the worst advertising known to man today, <laughs> but they're actually paying for it, and they're not getting any trackable results to speak of, for the most part, when you talk to these folks. They are your low-hanging fruit right there, <laughs> right there in your local area, the people that are already paying to advertise. And, 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 and you know, some of these ads, what are the, you did some research on this. What does someone pay to be in the Yellow Pages for an ad, say, that big? Oh, they're, they're thousands of dollars, 2500 at least. You know, people that are buying the cover are paying twenty and, and $30,000. And really, the message is you can pay – thousands of dollars to be in this thing that people are throwing away and, and you can even tell the business owner and you can relate because you throw yours away too, right? And he's going to say, you're right. And, you know, all you really need to do is all these things to improve your local presence to go from an F to an A. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to do that, you know? I like it. And I didn't have any phone books either because everybody throws them away. So one of the best places to get them is the Chamber of Commerce. Um, so I used some similar strategies. I did join the local chamber, and I just started going to the new member orientation on a regular basis because I figured that people that were joining the chamber for the first time were interested in promoting their business. From there, I've met some phenomenal contacts and, and uh, have actually generated a lot of referrals at it, out of it and, and built some really strong relationships. So that has been uh, my best strategy so far. And what are some tactics once you get in, once you actually get in, how are you getting their attention? Um, by offering them to do some of these services at a reduced cost for them. One of the best examples is a... For the um, chamber. No, not for the chamber, for the members. I found uh, some bankers Got where you know, they need to be optimized or some you know, commercial real estate agents who focus in, in my niche. Help them with their online presence, help them get set up on Google and help them understand the importance of it so that they know, like, and trust me and then can introduce me to their clients and say, look what Jeff has done for me. He can do the same thing for you. So it's yeah. a value and add service for them. Yeah. Chamber of Commerce's are a great resource for this. And, and like you had said, was it Dennis or somebody said that, uh, oh yeah, they even created a category. The group that you went to created a category for you because it was so new. 
this is a really good strategy for you to be able to go out and get access to, you know, people that trust the chamber. And if the chamber gives you an endorsement because you are cutting edge and you've got these really killer ways and you've got reporting tools and you can show proof and you can show good work, which you can when you work with us, you know, those business owners are there for you. They're, they're going to be more likely to take you up on your services because the chamber said so. Kind of like you get a seal of approval. Yeah, and delivering results for people is the best way to be able to ask them for a bigger paycheck next month. And so as I've continued yes. to improve their rankings, um, we start talking about some of the additional services. And one thing that has been uh, a real eye-opener is that they, they – they open the books for me and they start showing me everything they're doing and they start asking me, what should I eliminate? What should I stop doing? And so that just frees up more budget for me. Well, you, and you become their trusted advisor. I mean, wow, you recommended this. I was skeptical at first, but it was cost, you know, it was affordable. So I went ahead and did it and wow, I see instant results. You take those results and you build a bigger client from that. And then you help them by showing them areas in their budget that they need to just cut and areas where they can shift their budget to the things that you offer. That's perfect. Because I, I want to build a business where I have a, a steady client base where I, I see people once a month and they write me four figure checks and I, you know, I don't have to keep performing one off services. I keep my customers happy, keep their business growing and uh, you know, keep adding additional things for them as needed. Let me ask you something, Jeff. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you are you happy? Are you happy with the business? Are you happy with this new frontier that you're playing in? Happy but not satisfied. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's definitely a fair statement. Tell everybody about yourself. You have kids? Yeah, I've got uh, three small kids, uh, ages six, four, and two. So. And you uh, were a real busy dad when I met you. Really busy, and you're still a busy dad. But you were trying to juggle a few things, right? Tell yeah. a little bit more about your personal story and how you know getting involved in this new frontier has really changed your life. Yeah, it, it definitely has. You know, it's, it's given me the opportunity to, um, one, find a business where I'm really helping people and, and delivering results for them. And I love helping people grow their business and helping them make more money. But it's also given me the flexibility of schedule to you know, be there when my kids need me. And, I, you know, if my kids need to go to the doctor, I'm able to take them there. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that's what this is about. You know, um, it, you know, we focus on the dollar signs sometimes and how much a month, Jeff, but what we, you know, don't often focus on in a, in a webinar type format or whatever. Um, it's nice to see the human side of this, that it's, it's, this is about improving the quality of your life, you know, uh, giving people the ability to quit the second job. So they only have to work the one job and then can work their local mobile domination business around on their schedule or, you know, in your case, Jeff, being able to be there for your kids, spend time with your kids. And, uh, you know, that's, you talk about that. What's the value of that? That's absolutely priceless. And that's yeah. why Damien and I, for so many years, have been just so passionate about entrepreneurship, about uh, home-based businesses, about teaching people. And, you know, Damien's uh, gotten some press recently. I hope you've been able to see uh, for helping young people. That's a passion of Damien's is helping young people see the, uh, the capability of being an entrepreneur and, uh, and creating, you know, creating your own destiny. And that's what this is all about. You know, at the end of the day, you know, when I say, why are you here? Why are you here tonight? You know, and, and I guess the, the best way to answer, and some of you have heard me do this little, uh, little analogy before, but, uh, you know, where would you be right now if you had plenty of money, you were loaded, your, your tomorrows were set, your todays are set, your, you know, and people start typing in, well, I'd be in Bora Bora, or I'd be in Tahiti, or I'd be, you know, in Hawaii, and, you know, those are all wonderful places. We had a good time, didn't we, Damien? We were yes, in we did. Hawaii for a couple of weeks last month, but at, at the end of the day, you're here to get there, to be able to have the, the time freedom and the financial freedom to do those things. And so, you know, at this point, obviously, it's a great time for me to say, if you're not in, get in. You know, have some fun with this. Dabble with it. Um, take it serious. Treat it like a business. But, you know, devote a few hours to the training. Devote a few hours to, to maybe it's the strategies that Dennis is using that resonated with you. Maybe it's the strategies that Jeff's using that resonated with you. Maybe it's uh, one of the other dozens of strategies that we teach you in the training. So if you're not in, get in. It's time. The, the address you see right there for the, uh, for the order page and, and the sign up is right below each of our names on the screen there. And it's getmobiledomination.com forward slash house. We can't 
type that link here in the chat. Uh, Google doesn't allow for that. So you got to type it in yourself. Sorry about that. But uh, getmobiledomination.com forward slash house. When you get to that order page, you'll have a couple of options. And um, in fact, I think I have the ability to do a, uh, a screen share. So we'll, we'll talk about that here in just one second. So I, I want to also add to this. Um, you know, this, this was a wild success for us uh, at the end of the year, uh, far greater than I had expected. And we wanted to open it back up because the success stories came in so fast. You know, they came in so much faster. People were able to get in the business and start selling mobile sites and getting people in on these services faster than they were able to do it with the mobile apps. I mean, admittedly so. It's just... It, they were trying to convince people why they needed a mobile app when it was just such an abstract concept to a lot of these business owners. But when you show them site versus site, it just makes so much sense. And with the lower price point, it gets them talking. And, you know, it just makes a lot of sense. So we wanted to open this back up because we have thousands of folks that have not joined local mobile domination that are part of the Go Mobile community. We have over 6,000 resellers globally now. And, you know, we want to open this up to you, and there's some really cool stuff that we're doing. So we're opening it back up. We're going to close it down on Saturday. It's, it's either Friday or Saturday, today being Thursday. I just sent a text to find out you know, when we're going to close this down. And here's something special that we're doing for everybody. This Google Hangout was designed to give you some nuggets, give you some tactics that you can use tomorrow in your business, introduce you to your peers that are making it happen with local mobile domination, and giving you another chance, your last chance to really get in and enjoy these new tools. And remember, everything I do has a 30-day money-back guarantee. If it's not for you, get rid of it. I don't want you to have it. That's that's. I stand by that, period, no questions asked. So we try to make it a no-brainer. Now, you're going to get access to... The, the mobile website builder with costs to deploy websites that are negligible. There's nothing there. It's zero cost and $5 per month for the sites that actually get hosted. Number two, you're going to get access to an outsourced team in the Philippines of over 280 employees that are going to do these things like the local business listing optimization for you, like the mobile SEO that you won't find anywhere. They'll do the proposal generator. Uh, they'll generate proposals for you. They give you access to the report tools that you're going to use. We're also doing something really special. We're giving you three custom mobile app builds. Okay, for those of you that have been with Go Mobile, a part of our broker programs or regular reseller program, we're giving you three custom app builds. Jeff, how much do I charge resellers for each app build? Three hundred. Three hundred dollars. That's nine hundred dollars real cash value. Jeff, what would you do with that nine hundred dollars of real cash value? And, uh, and, and what would you turn that into? Well, if, if I was just first starting out, you know, I'd probably sell those for at least five hundred dollars, or, or maybe nine ninety-five. It's a price point that people love. So, you know, with one app, you could. Uh, uh, but, you with, know, with one with app, with one app, you can pay for the program. So, right. I'm giving you a tremendous value. There's no doubt. And for those of you that have been on the sidelines of Go Mobile and haven't taken advantage of any of our offers to get involved in this crazy business, this business that's really just lighting people up out there, because it's awesome. It's new. There's wide. It's markets wide open. You've had a lot of fun with it, right, Jeff? Absolutely. And and I have a theory on why people probably get off to a faster start with this. And I think one of the major yeah, reasons ahead, is confidence. Um, having the training, the tools, and the support, and knowing that you have the team behind you and you have all of these resources and you're going to be delivering top quality services makes you more confident in your presentation meetings. But it also makes you more confident in approaching one of your absolute best sources of leads, and that's your warm network or the people that already know, like, and trust you. Um, I, I heard somebody ask, you know, when I was kind of at a turning point, if I asked your friends and family what you do for a living, would they say that you help local businesses with their online marketing? And I had to admit that probably not. And part of the reason was is that maybe I just wasn't as confident in what I was delivering as I should be, and I wasn't willing to approach those people. And with the training and the tools and the support, confidence that confidence is there. And so being able to approach and tell everybody I know what I do has made a big difference. Awesome. Excellent, excellent. And, you know, for those of you that have been on the sidelines, like I was saying, that had not taken advantage of the mobile app opportunity, we're letting you do so today with local mobile domination because we're going to give you access to our done-for-you department. Um, now, you're not going to be able to build apps on your own and you don't get the Go Mobile. So, um, that's a whole other product and a whole other program. And a lot of you on here already own that. 
but we will let you have access to our team of award-winning app designers that will design your apps for you. We're going to create a system for you to basically send us the information that we need, and we'll crank out the mobile application native for both Apple and Android for $300. And like you've heard uh, Jeff talk about today, you want to sell that for 1500 to 2000 or more. Yes, people sell these apps for three to four to five thousand dollars all the time. Car dealerships, golf clubs. Think about the bigger clients. The bigger clients have the bigger budgets. You know, the big car dealerships. Think about what you could do with all the services that Jeff's talking about for those types of businesses. Think about what that monthly reoccurring payoff could be. Anyway, so we'd love for you to join if you haven't joined yet, and and you don't leave yet because we've got plenty of more content to share with you. I'm going to pick Dennis. His brain some more. I'm not letting Jerry get a hook. I'm going to pick his brain too. He's been one of my, you know, I got to tell you, I've learned a lot from Jerry. I've learned a lot just working very closely with him for the last 15 years. So I'm honored to have him as a part of our training. And I know, Mr. Foster, I know that a lot of people that are on, this is the Go Mobile community and you're a crowd favorite and they want to hear from you on some of your most wisest, you know, some, 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 give us some of the foster brilliance, not to take from uh, Jeff, by the way, thank you. That's awesome. I, I'm, I'm going to keep the content going. We're going to get back to you in a second, but Jerry, let's share some words of wisdom from Mr. Foster. Tell our okay. go mobile community how to get it on out there. Well, this stuff is really simple. Okay. I want to, I want to talk about something that's very direct to the local mobile domination and then something that is, has really nothing to do with local mobile domination and everything to do with you being a successful person and that that goes way beyond just business so the first thing I want you to keep in mind and it's something that uh, that both Dennis and Jeff have touched on here tonight and that is these businesses that you're that you're contacting whether you're doing it face to face belly to belly or virtually with emails or however you're contacting them okay direct mail campaigns whatever these are businesses that are spending money on advertising so what I want you to do is I want you to be a voracious a gatherer of sales and marketing uh, activity in an area. So you should be going to the newspaper. You know, most of us don't read the daily newspaper. We 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 get the updates on our phone or our Twitter feed or or our iPad or you know whatever. I want you to get the local newspaper. I want you to see what businesses are are spending money on advertising in the local newspaper. I want you to I want you to go and listen to the local radio station and listen to what ads are being purchased, local ads on the radio station, local TV. Um, look at the mailers, the coupon mailers, you know, the money pack mailers, all those Oh, look at every possible different way of marketing and advertising that businesses can use, and those are all your prospects. Of course, the yellow pages. Stop throwing yellow pages in the recycle bin because that every time that lands on your doorstep, cha-ching, that is a <laughs> brand new list of prospects, okay? So I want you to have the mindset that we're not trying to get these business owners to spend money. We're getting them to redirect from what wasn't working to what is working. Okay, that's the key. Out with what doesn't work, in with what does work. That's the key. All right, so that's a mindset that you have, but then, so do your homework and see what who's spending money. You've probably heard me give, you, give out the advice to go to the uh, real estate um, flyers and magazines at your grocery store, your gas huge station, your store. That's great, a that's huge a great industry. industry. That's a huge industry. And every single one of those real estate magazines has 20 to 50 to 60 realtors in there that are spending, again, they're spending money on advertising. And you always want to focus on the biggest spenders of advertising. So yes. in real estate magazine, it's the color ads. It's the one featured on the cover. Uh, on the newspaper, it's the color advertising in the newspaper. It's, it's who's putting their money in the Sunday newspaper because that's the one that's the most expensive, right? So those are your best prospects to focus on to go in and get some quick sales and, and show them the results. And then just as, as Jeff has talked about, grow the business. Start here. Go here, go here, go here, go here, and grow that business and, and help them become reliant on what it is you're going to do for them. Because at the end of the day, this is all about ROI. It's all about return on investment, and they're spending money with you so that you get people in the door. It's an investment. They already have the marketing and advertising budget, and you're going to get them in a situation where they're going to want to throw more and more and more money at you. Because when they throw money at you, it's not going down a black hole. Okay, that's the guy that they fired that wasn't getting the results. Remember when Jeff talked about that he goes in and they say, oh, yeah, 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 we got a guy working on that. And Jeff follows up a, week, uh, a month or two later and 
nothing's been accomplished and they're ready to kick him out the door, bring Jeff in. Because Jeff, because Dennis, because you will be getting the results, they're going to throw more money at you because it's ROI. If they're giving you 500, they think, well, if I give you 1,000, will you double the results? And Jeff, in most cases, if they double what they give you on a monthly basis, are you doubling the results for them? Sometimes, sometimes it can be even more than that because that's, that's it. That's the key principle. Yes, thank you. I wanted you to say it so that I didn't have to. When they double how much they <laughs> give you, most of the time, you more than double the results. You follow me? And I'm just going to throw numbers out, but let's say they're giving you 500 a month and you're bringing 10 new customers in the door for that 500 bucks. Then the cost of customer acquisition right there is 50 bucks. So if you're bringing customers in the door for them, and they know these numbers, you know, you show me a successful business that knows how to market and advertise. They know how much they spent last quarter in marketing and advertising. They know roughly how many new customers they put on the books, and they know their average cost per new customer, uh, their, their cust new customer acquisition cost, okay? So in our simple example, they're giving you 500 bucks, and you're giving them 10 new customers for the 500 bucks. That means it's $50 per new customer. So if their average profit per new customer is $100, do you see that they just doubled their money? Jeff is doubling his money because if he's charging them 500, it's costing him about 240, 250. So Jeff doubled his money. Then he takes that to the business owner who gives him 500 and they bring in 1,000. So they just doubled their money. So what do they wanna do? They wanna give Jeff 1,000 and say, okay, Jeff, you gave me 10 customers for 500. If I give you 1,000, they're expecting that Jeff will give them 20 customers, when in reality, it's probably going to be 30, 40, or more customers, all right? Now, I'm using some simplifications, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm extrapolating some numbers, but I want you to just wrap your brain around the concept here and how it works and why it works, okay? So that's the first key thing that I wanted to, to really hit on, Damien. The other one is, is this stuff works. There's no denying that this stuff works. It works on all different levels, but it works. And it works if you work. So one thing that we haven't even talked about really, certainly not to, to a very large extent, is the time and the money and the resources that we as a company have put into our training programs and our training sites. Yeah. You know, we have, for the local mobile domination alone, we have five training modules. We have an additional four live trainings. And, and we're always, in our history, we at Go Mobile Solutions have always over delivered on the training over and over and over again. If you're not in that training site on a regular basis, shame on you because we're going to show you how to create a six figure business over and over and over again. And, you know, Damien, you and I know. Jerry, real we, quick. Mm -hmm. I don't, but I don't want you to lose that thought because I want to hear what's coming out next. But I wanted to take this opportunity to tell everybody that if you agree with Jerry, that if you feel like we've over delivered in the training with Go Mobile Solutions and local mobile domination and all the stuff that we've brought to you over the last couple of years, we want to hear about it in the chat. And I forgot to tell you guys this about an hour ago, but something we're doing because we're doing a test here, and I want you to do this for me, please, if you can, if you feel, if, if it's how you feel. In the chat room, I want you to put, if you think Go Mobile Solutions is awesome, if you think it provides great training, put it in there. Go use the keywords because we're doing a test that we'll share with you all later. Go Mobile Solutions has the best training. Whatever it is that you really honestly feel. Damien Zamora. Use Jerry Foster. Go Mobile Solutions. Do me a favor. Use those keywords, and then we'll tell you why we're doing that later. Can you remember exactly where you were, Jerry? I do. It just gave me a thought. I'm texting Sheila. So, Sheila, go, right, to, your, cool. go to your phone. Well, I didn't want to trip you up too much there, but I wanted to no. take that opportunity because we forgot so, to do it. All right. So, so can we all agree here? You may have used it, or maybe you've only glanced at it, but I think we can all agree here that we've got a tremendous amount of knowledge from many different sources in the training system. Yes or no? Oh, yeah. Okay. So with that having been said, you know that if you get into that training and you'll use the training, the end result is going to be you're going to be more successful in, I dare say, not just this business, but other aspects of your life as well. But we'll, we'll keep it focused on this business, okay? Because um, we've got some great training in there and we kind of go down a tangent sometimes that really has nothing to do with business and I believe it'll just improve the overall quality of your life. But we'll focus just on the business, okay? So getting into the Go Mobile trainings, 
is something in your life, because you're here for a reason, you want to make money, so you go there for a reason, you want to make money. It's one of those areas of our life that falls into something that is important, but it's not urgent. See, everything that we do on a daily basis falls into one of four categories. I just mentioned something that's important, but that's not urgent, okay? And certainly, um, going into the Go Mobile training and getting training, that's something that, you know, that's not going to reach up and grab you by the collar and make you do it. you, you got to do it yourself. You know, uh, Damien's an inspiration to me. He's uh, just an avid uh, workout uh, exercise enthusiast, you know. Uh, I know every morning where Damien is, first thing in the morning, usually before the sun comes up, he's at the gym working out. It's, it's a passion of his, and he realizes the benefits. So that exercise is important, but it's not urgent, all right? So there are several aspects of our life that fit that category, all right? So the other three categories are things that are urgent and important. You always do those, you know. You always take care of anything that's urgent and important. There are things in your life that are urgent but not important. There are things that are not urgent and not important. All right, so that's a lot to think about and wrap your brain on those four quadrants. I didn't come up with this. I read a great book by Stephen Covey and Roger Merrill that cover this in depth. But the, the concept here is if you want to be successful with Go, with Go Mobile, with our local mobile domination program and our mobile app program as well, you've got to apply yourself. And it's not enough to be here on a Google Hangout and get excited and say, okay, I'm really going to make this happen. Well, good. So my response to that is when? Well, right now. I mean, I'm excited right now. I'm going to get in. I mean, as soon as the Hangout's over, I'm going to go into the training. Well, good. That, that should be what you want to do is if you haven't gone through training module number one in the LMD, do it because training module number one is all about how do I go get customers? And when you get a customer, you know what you put in Hip National Bank, right? It's money, okay? It's cash money. So if you want a few hundred dollars in your, in your back pocket, then get into training module number one and we'll show you how to do that, all right? And then training module number two, three, four, five, right? All right, so, but here's the key. What I want you to do because I want you to take a, a piece of paper and I want you to make a grid, and uh, and down the uh, right hand or down the left hand side, I want you to put the days of the week. All right. So in fact, I'm actually gonna. will just take just a quick second and see if I can make this happen. This is totally impromptu. I wasn't wasn't planning on this. All right. So let's see if I uh, put my screen up here. Damien, tell me, and and Jeff and Dennis, tell me if you can actually see this. Uh, See this little uh, grid here? Yep. Okay. And I'll make the screen a little bit bigger. And, and stick with me for a second. This is a spreadsheet, but you can do it on a piece of paper as well. So stick with me with the concept because this is something that's had a major, major impact uh, on my life. All right. So what I want you to do down the left-hand side is I want you to put to the days of the week. Now, uh, for most of us, you know, our work week starts with Monday. So we'll go uh, Tuesday. So write down and do this on a piece of paper right in your notes right there while I'm uh, doing it on the screen. And I'll enlarge it so you can see it a little bit better here in just one second. Well, at least double it anyway. Okay, is that a little easier to see now? So then oh, yeah. acro across the top of the screen, I want you to put what are the activities that you could be doing in your life to, to create more success or whatever it is you want in your life. So if we're talking about local mobile domination, what are the things that you could be doing? All right, well, we just mentioned training, so we'll just do LMD training. Now, most of us are pretty consistent with our schedules. In other words, if you, if you, uh, your work schedule is fairly consistent. Um, and, um, you know, your, your civic duties, responsibilities, church stuff, um, kid responsibilities, got to take your, you know, your son to karate and your daughter to, to soccer or whatever it is. You know, those are pretty consistent when that happens. But what I want you to do is I want you to create this grid, and I want you to figure out what are the activities you need to be doing that are important, they're not urgent, and I want you to create some urgency by committing yourself to do them and when it is you're going to do them. All right, so we're doing this Google Hangout on Thursday, and, and so you get fired up, you get excited, you say, okay, you know what, um, tomorrow's Friday, and I got this, that, and the other, but you know what I'm going to do is on Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., 
I'm going to go in and I'm going to work on the local mobile domination train. I'm going to get through at least one module and do some of the things that they're teaching me to do. Okay, so what are the other activities that you could be doing? Okay, well, you could be pulling, uh, using the, uh, the leads machine for prospecting. Right, and uh, Dennis, what are some of the activities that you've been doing? You've been obviously uh, creating mock-ups, right? You said you spent about a half an hour on that first Dennis mock-up. What else, Dennis? Uh, email prospects. You see, it? you see what I mean here? And all you do is you just go through and you determine, okay, what are the things that I need to be doing to be successful? We'll teach you that in the training. And then what you have to do is you have to say, okay, when am I going to do it? And then what you do with, all, with each column then, okay, each and every column, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to total up the number of hours that you spent doing this. So, for example, right now for that week, if that's all the LMD training I do that week, then that's two hours worth of training, right? And as we go through, we can total all of these columns, and then we can have a grand total of how many hours a week are we devoting to our business. Now, I had a mentor, and when I say I had a mentor, I never met the man, obviously, but his book absolutely changed my life. It was Dale Carnegie, Winning Friends and Influencing People, and I know that book had, it right a, there. I know it had an impact on your life as well, Damien. Well, I, one of the things I learned from Mr. Carnegie when I read that book is I read, now have you been able to see my screen the whole time, or me? It just, it just went back. It just went back, okay. All right, I'm learning how the Google Hangout works. I just toggled and it went back, thanks, Jeff. So one of the things I learned was he teaches in that book uh, a principle, that, and he used to do it on Saturday nights, and it worked for him. I thought, hey, it works for Mr. Carnegie, I'll do it too. So on Saturday nights, I sit down and I map out this little strategy here that you see, and I determine what it is that I need to do and when it is I'm going to do it. And then I revisit that and I go back to that then the next Saturday. And I say, okay, before I plan out then the next week, I come back and I say, okay, how did I do this, this past week? And, uh, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes we get a little too ambitious. We think we're going to invest 15 hours a week and the best we were able to do was, you know, eight or nine. Well, that's fine. So adjust and say, okay, that's, maybe that's my reality is eight or nine. So what am I going to spend eight or nine hours this next week doing? And I want to focus on, write this down in your notes, I want to focus on rainmaker activities as much as possible. I love that. Okay. The training is critically important, but we have PhDs in Go Mobile Solutions training out there who have never put one app in the App Store or put up one website because they're constantly getting ready to get ready. Yeah, All right. you got you got two great examples right here of of Dennis and Jeff. They know how to, how to go in and, and plan and go in and get trained, but they also take action. So you gotta you gotta get a PhD in taking action, and you gotta get real serious about creating some momentum and some consistently doing the rainmaker activities that bring dollars in the door and in Hip National Bank. Okay. So those are the two key points that I really just felt inspired to chime in with, Damien, is Good that stuff. number one, number one, your, your prospecting can be very targeted and very strategic, focusing on the businesses that are already spending money. Now, one other thing I want to say about that, and that is definitely put a star next to the ones that are doing anything high tech. Example, if you see an ad with a QR code yeah. in it, cha-ching, right, Jeff? Yeah, you see a QR code, they get it. On at least some small level, they get it. Yeah. Okay. So of all the prospects, you'd focus on the ones that have the QR codes versus the ones that they don't first, because they get it from a technology and mobile and whatnot. All right. So that that's that. And then the second area here, of course, is just is just kicking your own butt to do the things that you need to do that are important but that are absolutely not urgent. And until you can figure out a way to play a game with yourself, I don't care if you want to do, you know, I had a mentor that taught me uh, penalties and rewards. He would set his goals for the week, and if he hit the goals for the week, every single one of them, then he got a reward, whatever his reward he wanted it to be. If he didn't, then his penalty was 
And this is a guy that lived in about a 5,000 square foot house, probably had at least four of these in that house. If he didn't hit his goals for that week, he had to clean the toilets. Every toilet in the house, four or five toilets, whatever it was. And that was his penalty. <laughs> that was his penalty, okay? So whatever works. If it's cleaning toilets or not cleaning toilets that motivates you, whatever it is. But, but use that grid system or something like it. And again, I didn't come up with that. It's actually kind of a conglomeration of three different books, from the Covey Merrill book to the Dale Carnegie book to the uh, Mark McCormick, what they didn't teach you at the Harvard Business School. I'll give all three credit because it was kind of a conglomeration of everything that was in those three books that created that little system for me that's worked very well over the years. I love the rewards and penalties. That, uh, that can be a lot of fun. And, you know, when, when I attend masterminds, you know, I attend masterminds routinely, I'm always investing in education myself. And, uh, you know, that's what we'll do. We'll hold each other accountable. And, like, maybe it's a trip to Cabo that I usually take every single year to go deep sea fishing. But if I don't meet the goals that I set out for myself, there was a year I missed it. And I missed it. I literally didn't go. And, <laughs> you know, it, the, the rewards and penalties, and you create your own. I, I love this this concept that you've uh, thrown out there for them to think about because everyone will create their own. Maybe it's change, changing diapers. They don't want, you know, the toilets, <laughs> whatever, combination thereof. But you're right. The rewards, though, make those sweet as you possibly can. Yes, make the penalties hurt, but make the rewards sweet and and make make goals realistic so you can achieve them. And, you know, one of the things I'll say just to piggyback off of yours, uh, Jerry, is if you make the goal realistic, I mean, obviously make the goal worthwhile. Put a few bucks in your pocket or you know, help a business, help a charity out. Whatever the goal is, make it realistic, get it done, and, and then get your reward. And then just keep moving the bar. It's how I've always trained our sales reps whenever we've had a sales room is we just keep moving the bar a little bit, give them realistic goals, let them get quick wins. Quick wins is a big, important write, – write that down next to Jerry's notes – is you're looking for quick wins because it's the quick wins that feed the fire, right, Jerry? The quick wins Absolutely. really put the gas on. And then it's the so fire. real. You walk away from that first sale with a check, and you're, you're like, this works. This is real. That's right. This is happening right here. And, and it's ridiculous. Never, you will never be so motivated as when you walk away with that first check. And I see Dennis and Jeff both smiling because you've experienced it. <laughs> if you haven't experienced it, get into training module number one and let us show you a couple quick strategies there and then get out tomorrow and do it and make it happen. Dennis, do me a favor. Um, I want to hear about that first check. I want you to share with everybody the first check. How much was it? Were you nervous as hell just asking for it? And then when you asked for it and you got it, what did you feel like? You know, share with us. We don't have your audio, Dennis. We can't hear you. Up at the top right-hand corner, you'll see a little okay. mute button. Yeah. Or it's okay. red, Mike. All right. Uh, it was actually one of the dentists, and uh, I uh, did a mobile. There you are. You're back. Okay. First one was a dentist, and I actually did a uh, uh, mobile website for him and did an LB, uh, LO. And uh, I did the, uh, the, the website, and I charged him 300 and I said, uh, and I charge ten dollars a month for that. If you want, uh, uh, you want it for a year, uh, give me a hundred dollars. And so, and then uh, did the first uh, LBO was for six. Okay, keywords. hold on, pause, pause one second. What? Real quick, I wanna, I wanna interact with this one real quick. So, so it's three hundred bucks. Now you made the decision. This is your first client, right? The first, yeah. number one, right? El numero uno. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you made the decision. It was going to be a three hundred dollar quote. Right. Now, were you shaking in your boots before you asked him for the three hundred dollars, or what was your? How, how did you feel at that moment before you asked him about the three hundred dollars? No, no, or really. You, yeah. Okay. I knew there's value in it. That's why. Okay. There's Good. value in it, and so you sell value, and that's what I did. So then, what was his response when you laid it out? So this is what it costs. This is what it's going to take. Uh, he didn't bat an, bat an eye because on top of that, they had an LBLO. And I charged him six twenty for that for six keywords. Oh, uh, right? They set up for the setup in uh, in six months on that. Okay, and he That's wrote me a just check. Under, just under a thousand dollars, right? Your first client. He didn't bat an eye. Did it was you nine seven nine so seven? So now 
So, so what happened was the opposite of being like shaking in your boots prior to asking. The opposite was, oh my God, did I charge too little? That's right. Right. <laughs> right? You knew the that's value right. was there, and he didn't bat an eye. So yeah, that's awesome. Didn't bat an eye. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, did he write you a check? Yes. And, and did you take uh, it home and show your wife? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> and you proved her. You said, look, you said, you see this check, baby? You see this? This is why I do what I do. And and how was that? Was that a good night? I mean, no, I'm just that, trying to get into that your... Was, no, that was great. Uh, and uh, it gives you the, uh, the ability to move on, move forward. Say, okay, uh, the first hurdle, the first one is the hardest. And uh, you go past that hurdle, and you, and after that, you know you can do it. And again, you and like you, I think, well, you know, I did. Uh, I'm going to raise my prices for the next one, and I did. So, uh, but yeah, it was kind of cool. Hey, uh, good strategy. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hmm. Jerry That's wants a, a piece strategy. of this. Okay, what I want you to get is some confidence. And, and Dennis, what you said right there is a strategy that we've had for a long time in our trainings: is go in with a low price point and get a few customers, even just one. Mm. Get a customer, get the win, get the quick win as Damien refers to it, build the confidence and know that it's worth more and be confident in going and ratcheting up your price each time. But yeah. it's that confidence of knowing that this works, I can do this, and, 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 and they'll be more successful in their business for having invested this money that's just gonna light gas right on your fire. Right. Good job. Yep. So yes, start with a lower price, job. and then over time raise your price to other prospects. And then as well, don't worry about under pricing that first that first customer because they're going to want to throw more money at you. And right. so you'll be getting more. Their 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 monthly will be going up as you show them the success anyway. Right. Well, with that one, uh, a week later I got a referral from that same dentist. Okay. Without, oh, there again. Boom, there again. Just like that. That's the, the, the Isn't most it crazy important. crazy how it happens when it rains it pours, right? Yeah. And that's hey, the uh, most important thing that you'll get from your first customer is that first referral. That's right. Yes. Yes. Hey, Damien, you know, make a point, one yeah. point. Okay. Uh, yeah, we please. talk about mobile domination. Uh, when I joined uh, Glow Mobile, uh, I'll liken this to phishing. I've got one hook. I can do mobile apps. When I join mobile domination, I have several hooks. I can do mobile websites, got an LBO, SEO, I can do WordPress, I can do social media. And that's and then it opens the door to where I can go where I need to go. I don't have to say, so, okay, I'm going to go sell a mobile app when I can sell anything. That's the beauty of mobile uh, domination. Very well that's said. That's what I like about it. Very well okay. said. You help businesses with mobile marketing and online marketing and enhance their local presence and you help drive more business to the local businesses and you do it in a number of ways now that you have both these programs awesome thank you for making that point that's a solid point and to go back to this first customer point whether you've been in go mobile or whether you've just taken advantage of local mobile domination today and you're looking to, to go and cash that first check like Dennis did tomorrow right you really can you can and we've all talked about it here in the last about 10, 15 minutes about the tiny wins, about, you know, the lower pricing so that you get the people talking, you can get that first deal. And Dennis said the first deal is the most difficult, but, you know, you can make it easier by going to your low-hanging fruit. Yes, I know that sounds familiar. We've, we've used that a lot. But everyone gets their hair done. Everyone, well, maybe. Everyone has a dentist, hopefully. You know, everyone has the favorite restaurant. You've heard this stuff before. So just think about the people that you already are comfortable talking with and now that you have local mobile domination the message is different the message used to be hey go tell your hairdresser how cool it is to have a mobile app and yes that is part of what you should do eventually but now it's about showing what their mobile presence looks like what their local presence looks like both of those proof in point easy deals low price easy win easy person to talk to you get that first deal and now you've started the forest fire because you're motivated as all hell. You're ready to go out and just go crazy. And that's what Jeff did. When Jeff told me about his first client, he was just absolutely excited about it. And it lit you up, right, Jeff? I mean, wasn't that really for you? Take everybody through your first check. 
Tell everybody what happened when you got well, your first client to your um, morale and you know confidence. It, it was huge. Getting the first check was, was definitely awesome. I have a copy of it. I'll probably keep it forever. But what was so much better was saying, I'll be back next month for another check. <laughs> that was the real game changer. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fantastic. Cheers for that. Cheers, yeah. Peter. Now, like, you know, oh, I'm now you know how Damien can go three and four hours on a webinar. See, we're seeing his strategy in the background, why, why he can keep going. So that having been said, we're coming up on the 90-minute mark. So we've got to really uh, point out two very important things. Uh, number one, uh, we've seen in the, in the chat panel there that we have a good number of people that uh, jumped on this Google chat. Thank you, everybody. And, 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 and we knew it would happen, Damien. They jumped on here, a uh, huge audience tonight all around the globe, but we've got a lot of people that haven't seen the local mobile domination webinar yet. Now, as Damien mentioned earlier, we're going to be shutting that down. Um, is it 48 hours from now? When did you say? Yeah, Saturday. Saturday, we Saturday. are shutting it down. And there's a reason why we're doing this, and that includes the bonuses and everything. So Saturday, this reopen is done Saturday. So the key here is, is between now and Saturday, if you're watching live, we're recording this, we're doing this live on Thursday, but you may be watching the recording on Friday. So I don't want you to sit back and wait. If you've seen the webinar, you don't need to see the webinar again to make a decision. You've joined us on the Google Hangout here. You know this can work. Just get to the, 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 the addresses right there on the screen. You see it, get in and get started getmobiledomination.com forward slash house. Okay, if you haven't seen the webinar yet, I want you to go to your email. It may already be there if you're watching the recording. If you're watching us live, the email will be there in the next 24 hours for the address for you to go to to watch a recording of the webinar where Damien and I spend, well, I mean, you can get the gist of it in an hour, but I think we ended up going over two hours with the full explanation of everything that's included and how it works and why it works and you all the details. The software demo examples. Yeah, I did everything. a demo. Yeah, I did a demo of the of the actual website builder and all that. If you haven't seen that, I understand you you want to see that before you make your final decision. Uh, that's not what I would do. That's not what Damien would do. And I, I can't necessarily speak for Jeff and Dennis because I don't know you as well as you know Damien and I. We see something like this. We're on it and we're taking advantage and, and taking action. And the reason we would both do that, I know us obviously both very well, is because of the guarantee. You don't have to see everything in the that's webinar right. to know this works. The guarantee's there. I, I Honestly, if you haven't seen the webinar yet, I'd rather you watch mod, train module number one. I'd rather you get signed up, get started, get into training module number one, watch that. Um, get, get into the support system, ask some questions. You'll see that this works and this is for you. But if you want to watch the webinar, you've got to make sure you see it before it closes out on Saturday. And then, of course, take advantage of the bonuses, take advantage of the opportunity to click on that link and get in and, and get started. And when we decided to do this Google Hangout, Jerry, you know, I made the decision to go ahead and leave this open. You know, we, we brought on the 40 people uh, the last couple of days because we had 20 and we opened up for 20. And I made a decision. This was a decision. If we're going to do this, I want to go ahead and keep it open a little longer. And by doing that, here's what I'm committing to. I'm committing to servicing another 30, 40, 50 people. I know that already. And I know that, you know, I'm, I'm putting up real cash value with those three mobile app builds. And, uh, you know, we've scaled our operation. We've got over a dozen designers just that'll just be working on this project alone that are available seven days a week. We have our, our guys working on these um, mobile apps for you. And you can even use those for mobile websites if you want. You know, mobile apps, mobile websites, your choice. But I'm leaving that open all the way through. And once we shut it down, all the bonuses and everything, you'll probably see the product on the market somewhere, uh, different prices, different bonuses. You know I love to take care of our community. This is our product. It's not someone else's product. I'm not introducing you to Joe or John or Jack. And this is not another tool for your tool bag that doesn't come from anybody but Go Mobile. This is a Go Mobile product. It's homegrown. And the trainings from myself and Jerry and our local marketing expert, Jody Underhill, and our Omar Perryu, some of you know, another crowd favorite. And we built some really solid training, very organized, all mobile responsive, and we'll work on your mobile devices, and we'll work on your iPads, and we'll work on whatever you have. And now, you're going to love it. That's a key and point. And it's motivating. That's a key point. It, time, yep. out. time out. Pause button. Thank yep. you for bringing that out because – 
that was a huge investment for us to be able to do that, to make the trainings 100% mobile compatible. So if you're at work at your J-O-B and you have an hour for lunch, watch a training on your phone. Watch a training on your iPad. You know, if, you, if you're laying awake at night and you're frustrated about, you know, your job or bills or can't get it done, watch a training on your, on your phone or your iPad laying there in bed. I mean, we want to make the training accessible, and, and, and that was a big commitment, Damien, and you were the driving force behind that. So sorry to hit your pause no. button there, but that's a no, big deal. That's why we did it. We want you to be able to access that training from anywhere. That's right, and and you know we give good training, and the the local mobile domination, the first module. What I wanted to do is show you the quick path to your first sale. That's it right there. You you know, and 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 it's not a lot of work if you just if you just take the steps that I lay out in module number one. You should be able to go out and secure your first client within the first week. Period, and that gives you. Three more weeks to evaluate the product, and that's what we wanted to do this time. We want to, since since Jeff came back and told us that this definitely works, I'm able to get clients quicker. Since Dennis was able to finally start getting clients, this is proof that we received. You know, we we knew that the way to the way to get that training off the dime, the way to get you going to take action, was to make it simple, make it very doable tomorrow. Because both Dennis and Jeff have told you, once that first check comes in, it just gets real. Real fun, doesn't it? That's when it gets real fun, you know. And and like Dennis said, he came home and he shared that with his wife. You know, some of you are sitting here deciding, should I do this? Is my wife going to look at this? Is my husband going to look at this? You know, guess what? If you if you have a feeling that you need this, do this. You got thirty days. Go out and prove to your spouse that you can make this happen, just like Dennis did, just like Jeff did. And uh, the world is your oyster. Everyone out there needs this, and the majority haven't done it yet. And I will say this, and I'll say it again. You've heard it before. They are all going to do this. I watched this when nobody had websites, and we had a company servicing businesses with websites, and everybody said, no way everyone's going to have a website. Mark my words today. Everyone will have a mobile optimized presence. And the question is how much money you're going to make in that land grab. That's the question. And today we're making it available to you to take action when, Jeff? Now, today. When? <laughs> now, now, today. Today. Dennis, when do we take action? Now. Today. And what that does is then we get to reap the rewards because, you know, money never sleeps. You got to get after it. You got to get after it. And the only way to do it is to take action. Massive action, right, Jeff? <laughs> Absolutely. Jeff, I want you to share something. I'm going to go I'm going to go with another nugget here that I want you to share with everybody because I know that you've mastered this part. And this is the uh, the investigative selling approach, which makes this thing not even selling. There's a lot of people on here going, you know, I don't want to go out and I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to have to talk to people. You know, this is this, you know, that's that's a turnoff for a lot of people. And that's why in our training, we 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 like to teach the investigative selling methods. Tell them why that works so well and what your thoughts are about that. Um, it, it's it's been an amazing skill to learn, and today I had probably one of my best meetings ever, just as a result of it. And we spent nice. probably the first forty five minutes of the meeting with this dentist, just me asking him questions and him telling me his story, and he he just kept going and going and going, and he gave me absolutely everything I needed. Um, when you know I started doing some trial closes, he said. This is everything. I, I already know all of this. This makes sense. It's great to talk to somebody who really understands my plight and can help me. And and if you didn't want to actually take this training, do this training, actually do the investigative selling yourself, could you easily train a sales rep or two or people to work for you to use these methods? Oh, definitely. Um, because it, it's it's a mindset shift. And if you can get somebody to, to make that shift, then it, it'll start coming naturally to them. That's right. And really what it is is you ask the business owner questions and you and we teach you some strategies on how to get all the answers that you're looking for and you make a mental note of all the yeses that you get along the way and you build what we call this yes momentum. And this this I did not invent this. I've got to get credit to uh, credit to my longtime friend Mr. Omar Perry who like myself is a disciple of Tom Hopkins, Tom Hopkins. and he was who inspired us. But you create this yes momentum because you're showing them proof. And yes, we're going to teach you how to weave in those online presence reports and how to use the reports and how to use the proof like Dennis does with the before and after. And that and then you're asking your questions and you're getting your answers and you're getting your yeses 
and then you basically sell it to them the way they want it to be sold to them. And and the way that you do this, this is this is like really like it 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 takes the most introverted, I don't want to talk to anybody, and puts them in a position where they can easily have a conversation, they can easily ask questions, they can get all the answers to the test in the process, they can sell it to them how they want it to be sold. It sells itself when you do this. I know Lisa's on here, Lisa Carali is on here, we've got um, We've got a few people that I recognize actually on here that D Sheila, Sheila does this in her business and every business. It's about, you know, making, here's why Omar created this because he felt that he was helping like Motorola and, and Lexus and all these different big companies to train their sales staff. And what happened was they all beat themselves up and they get in their own way. So when he developed this, he developed a way to make it so easy that if they just learn the process, master the process, all of the dominoes fall in the right place. And that's how he's able to get people from being almost out the door on sales teams to being top producers because he teaches them a process. And we've taken this process and we teach you or your sales reps that you want to bring in and you want to teach. We'll teach you how to find them. We'll teach you how to train them. And we'll teach them how to go out and get your money for you or yourself. So anyway, I wanted to go on a little tangent there. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jerry, how you doing, bud? He's he's put the pause button on. I got Jerry and a really cute Labrador there. So, Dennis, um, thank you so much for coming on to share your story. I really appreciate it. I know the Go Mobile community appreciates it, appreciates it as well. Um, thank you. Was this fun? It was fun, and thank you. Okay, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Excellent. So. One piece of advice that you'll give in closing from you to the Go Mobile community, whether they're doing apps, whether they're doing sites, what's that one piece of advice so they can go out and get a check to show their wife or spouse or husband or whatever in the next couple of days? They just have to do it. You've got all Take the tools. You've got all the tools. All they have to do is do it. That's Take my advice. That. That's it. That's right. Just do it. Jeff, thank you, buddy. Thank you for your time today and sharing your inspiring story as well. And, uh, of course, I'm not going to let you off the hook. I want you to give them that one big nugget, that one big silver bullet that you want everybody to, to go out and get their first check with tomorrow. Well, yeah, well, obviously, taking action is the key, but having the mindset, and once you are confident in your product and you know that if people don't buy it, if you don't sell it to them, you're doing them a disservice. Are you <laughs> asking me to launch into one of my tirades that I think influenced that? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Listen, I'll do it. Thank you. You lobbed it up. I'll take the softball. I'll run with it. The little dose of what's in that training in the first module. You have to first convince yourself. So it's okay. We can go ahead with, uh, let's see, where's the, uh, I had the Wall Street Journal. Uh, I had the Wall Street Journal. Big thing on mobile apps and all this stuff. Once you've convinced yourself that the sites look better on mobile devices when they're done this way versus this way and you feel, you know what, you can see with your own eyes and you believe it, then you know that you're doing the business a disservice unless you can get them to do what you've been able to prove yourself. So what he's saying is you get in, you take action, believe in the product, believe this is a great opportunity, believe that you are changing lives and helping businesses and helping them survive in this economy, getting them with the times, getting them into this cutting edge stuff early so they can be the pioneers in this industry, so they can be the early ones that are getting the rankings for their business type. And once you've convinced yourself of that, then you are going, it creates a monster is what it does. And you're going to go out there and you got to have the mindset that if you don't leave with a check, you're screwing them. You're actually screwing them if you don't leave with a check because now their site's not going to be mobile optimized. When people are searching for their business in their area, they're not going to come up and they're going to continue to be graded an F. And shame on you for leaving and letting them to, to run their, continue to run their business spending $3,000 a month in the yellow pages, not getting anything to speak of, and having a site that looks like crap where 60% of the people searching are using mobile devices. And, you know, you, once you've convinced yourself of that, you'll get passionate about it and you'll go out there, like I said, it'll create a monster. And that's what Jeff's talking about. Um, and, and that's it. So we, we help you get that mindset. We help put you in the mindset so that you can get this done. Thank you for that one, Jeff. That was a softball. I like that one. 
<laughs> well, but the the mindset is key, and and you know that's what differentiates Go Mobile from so many of the other options out there is that it's the training and the support and helping you get the the mindset and you know guys like Jerry and Jody and Omar Damian that's what makes the difference well and it's that's I'm glad you realized that because I'll tell you what it, it can't be a hundred percent technology and and techniques and it can't be a hundred percent you know motivation and 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 skill set improvement there's got to be a balance and I used to call it the millionaire strategies and the millionaire mind you have to have both this millionaire strategies and the millionaire mind put it together to make it work excellent now can anybody guess what this thing is behind me here anybody guesses in the chat room and say something nice and uh, I'll give you a free mobile app credit we'll build a mobile app just do a little contest here make this interactive and fun what is this behind me anything will work here just let's see if you get close Anyway, so we'll keep going, and then we'll, we'll see if somebody puts it in the chat room. <laughs> so, Jerry, thank you, man. Thank you for your time today. You totally bet. Appreciate I'll, it. I'll tell you what. I always I'm love really doing this excited. stuff with you. It's, it's a lot of fun. I love the interaction. I love helping people get in, get started. It's such, it's such a great thing to hang out with uh, you, Dennis, and Jeff, hear their stories, hear their successes. And uh, we've got a lot of great people on here. That uh, that definitely want to want to make a difference for themselves and for their family. And you know, I I always like to close with the concept of the idea that you came here for a reason. Don't leave not having accomplished that reason that you came here for. Right. So if if you're in and maybe you came for more nuggets, you got a bunch of them. Then create for yourself a massive action plan, and that's something I do. I've got my pen and paper right here. Every training I attend, I write down a massive action plan. There, MAP, it's a map, Massive Action Plan. What are the items I'm going to take from that training and use right away? If you're not in, get in. If you haven't seen the webinar. Hey, can we have everybody that, do that right now? Let's have everybody do that right now. If you got a, if you got a Massive Action Plan that you learned from today's training that you're going to do tomorrow, put it in the chat room. I'd really love to see that. Go ahead, Jerry. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. Um, I just, you know, the key here is to take action. It's not about uh, two hours of motivation on a Google Hangout. It's about uh, two hours of techniques and strategies and motivation that you can then use moving forward to, uh, to make a difference. I'm posting up a little bit. There we go. Excellent. All right, did you guys get any good nuggets today? Let us know if you like the training. Let us know if you'd like to see us do this more often. This was fun. Um, like I said, I don't mind shaving for you guys. I can definitely do it. And uh, just let me know if you like this. Because if you like this, then we really would like to do more of it. Because one of the things that we know is that, uh, like, getting – this is the first time I've seen technology where we can actually introduce you to your peers, like Jeff and Dennis, and have them here where you're almost, like, in their rooms and in their houses. And you're at Jerry's house, and and this is this is really cool stuff, and we want to do a lot more of it. If this is something you would like to see, so let us know for sure. So local mobile domination closes Saturday. We may open it up in a few months. You don't want to wait around for a few months. Right now, you want to get in and you want to make this happen. You want to change your life. You want to change the lives of business owners. You want to help your your community thrive, you want to help the local charities, the schools, the churches, they all need to go mobile, they all need to get themselves in an environment where everyone's searching, they all need to come up on the local searches. This is how you can change the business direction, the course of business, the course of direction for that business is they need to go mobile, they need to get ranked, and they need to become the pizza shop in their local area or the health professional or the chiropractor, the doctor, you have the tools. You are a professional problem solver with the tools that you get through Go Mobile. So take advantage of local mobile domination at getmobiledomination.com forward slash house. This has been a fantastic hangout. I've had a lot of fun. Jerry, Dennis, dude, Jeff, this has been fun. I can't wait to do it again. And I'll just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. And thanks all of you, the community. I can't wait to see you again. Jerry, I'll let you close with whatever you want. I love these people. This was awesome. This yeah, was fun. Well, I'll tell you what. That's why we do it. We love it. I also want to say thanks to uh, Sheila and Jennifer who are helping out with the chat and also Brett Hen, helping with the controls. And this was fun. This is our first Thank one. Thank you, guys. Our first of many. 
and uh, and we appreciate uh, you taking time out of your busy day to be here. And uh, it's it's a testament to to you and the fact that you're looking to create more. So do more, create more, and be serious about it. Put the plan together, and then just make it happen. And take action when everybody one two three now, now. today. today. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll leave, I don't know if you leave the chat room open or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and X out of the video. I'm going to go have some dinner. I'm starving. And another beer. Cheers, everyone. Go mobile or go <laughs> <Cheers>. home. <laughs>